Bravo 6. Going dark. Everybody, it's the mystical, the majestic, the powerful, the fantastical, <laughs> the best gaming show in the whole of Fiji. This is <laughs> Gladstone Gaming. gaming. <laughs> now, last week we spoke about educational games, oh, yeah, yeah. and now we're touching base on mystical, mystical games. Game. Very mystical. Exciting, <laughs> very exciting. What about you? What's your favorite like uh, fantasy I've game? I've only tried this game once, but you know, under the genre of mystical games, I think yeah. I actually like it. It's Divinity Original Sin 2, oh. and we'll be talking about this a little later on with Tony. Oh, so, okay, but what's okay. your favorite mystical game? Well, see, the thing is, like with mystical fantasy game, I was never really a big, big fan. Okay. But the thing is, like when Witcher came out, Witcher Three, mm. like I kind of fell in love with that, the whole yeah. world eh, and how it's done. Hendrik. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Look game. Oh, you talking about the game? The game. The oh, game. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, what you got in our gameplay review? Well, see, the thing is, like I've said, since I'm, I've never really played too many fantasy or mystical games. Yeah. What I'll do is let's do something fun. I'ma just whip okay. out my phone and okay. I'll just go to like Google Play Store. Yeah. And I'll let you and I'll click fantasy games, right? Okay, fantasy games. And you games. you get to pick what game I review. What? Whatever you <laughs> yes. Whatever you I pick. I get the honor? You get the honor. <laughs> Oh, yes. right. Whatever you pick, that's what I'll okay, play. Okay, let me see. Yeah. I think I like this one. It Please seems dark. It. It's a cape. <laughs> <laughs> it looks dark. You have to pay like $3 for it, but anyways. That's all right. Well, what's it called? Eternium. Eternium. Yes. All right, guys. This is the gameplay review <laughs> for Eternium. Okay, so Jane told me to try and play this game called Eternium. So let's go. I'm not really a big fan of playing uh, mystical, magical fantasy games, but eh, let's give it a go. Oh, so the intro looks pretty cool. Uh, you gotta pick your hero class. That middle one sort of looks like... Is that an elf? Man, I don't know. Uh, man, this is the hardest part is naming your guy. You know what, I'll just auto name. All right, the show is over. Hope, oh, let's go. I'm on level nine. Oh, okay. Tap to move. All right, okay. Wow, this is a very lovely place. Kinda looks like the beach at Mommy Bay. Okay, here we go. Tap to move. Okay. Oh, a well, damn! People already skeletons up, man. Okay. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. All right, let's go. Let's keep going. <laughs> Oh, so it's kind of like, this whole place is filled with like, skeleton warriors or something. And they've got bow and oh, I die. Oh man, hey, and the graphics is really nice guys. You know what, like, even though I'm not a big fan of mystical game, oh, oh, make a V, oh yeah, alright, let's go. You know what, even though I'm not a big fan of mystical game, oh look, I got boats. Okay, cool, cool. All right, make a V, kill all of them, boom. Okay, here we go. Ah, that one was a bigger skeleton dude. You got a shield. But you know what? Even though mystical games, I'm not a big fan, but this graphics on this mobile game is really nice. I actually might finish the game. Oh, wow. Oh, I can do moves if I just... Oh.
you will do it, my friend. Your sword will slay thousands. Your plans will end demons. And your words will tame dragons. I know this because you have chosen to do it. And future has already bent to your will. I know you will do it, but I wonder still, to what end? To set free the living, or plunder the gold of the dead? Now, Eternium is an RPG game that you can even play without connecting to the internet on your phone. There are three character classes, the Mage, Bounty Hunter and Warrior. The animation and graphics are pretty good and have gotten better over the years. However, there are some problems. However, sometimes the third person camera angle occasionally blocks my view when I was playing. But the graphics are very detailed, which is nice. The game progression is clear and suitably progression of hardness. So I started out it was easy, but as I went along it got really hard and hard. The story is quite basic with the levels described as find the boss and kill it. Lots of item drops and you can get it in game help characters that mercifully can get pretty powerful. It is definitely not a Diablo 1, 2, 3 in many ways, but for a game for your phone, it's really amazing. I've never seen someone <laughs> so bad at <laughs> well, I tried, okay? okay, but you know what? It's actually it was actually really yeah, fun, man. Okay, yeah. It, it seems actually... like you were having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it was. Like, I mean, like the thing is, I'm not really that good with these kind of yeah. games, but I love trying it because you yeah. know of all the 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 spells and yeah, all this kind exactly. of stuff you can do. And it. The dragons and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, does this push you to try out more mystical games? Actually, yeah, yeah. I kind of like it. I kind of yeah. like it. You guys need to try out some mystical games as well, if you have. Right. Haven't. Anyway, so what you got coming up next? Uh, we've got heaps of stuff. We've got, well, we'll be reviewing some uh, mystical games as right, well. Right. And some games you need to look out for and some games you need to revisit back in the past. Right, and we'll also talk about later on what game we're going to give away next month. Yes, exactly. But stick around.